Hey guys, Scare9 here. Welcome back to my channel today. And in this video, what we're going to be doing is kind of twofold. So the first thing is I'm going to be uploading my full Petra's run guide. That is what we are watching in the background. This is essentially our first attempt from Cali all the way to Queen's Walk, completing the entire raid without dying once. So in that way, it's going to serve as kind of a gameplay guide for you guys to follow in case you guys are chasing the Ribbon's Bane title. Now, in addition to that, at the beginning of every encounter, I'm going to be doing this kind of commentary, letting you guys know what our setup was was, what strategy we were using, what our mindsets were going into it, because it's a lot more than just gameplay to go into these guides. You know, you can see a, a bunch of top tier Destiny Raiders, quote unquote, go into a raid and do it without dying, but that doesn't really help you. So I'm going to kind of glean into our kind of thoughts into this entire thing and why we did things the way that we did, whether it be more risky or, you know, we're just, you know, more rounded or things like that. So to start off with, I would say your team composition needs to be a pretty much a fairly skilled players. If you can do the entire raid and only wipe once or twice on every encounter, you can definitely do Petra's run. Everyone seems to play better whenever you have the mindset of, you know, we have to play super carefully, we're gonna do this and that sort of thing. So if you're able to do the raid pretty normally, but you know, definitely um, without dying a ton, I wouldn't say that the Petra's run is too far out of reach. Now, if you guys don't know, you activate this by using the wish wall. I will have a link down to that actual wish down in the description below. But other than that, the entire thing is just to do the entire raid without anyone in your fire team dying even once. So our team composition is pretty much the first thing that we're gonna take a look at. We had one warlock, then we had two titans and then three hunters. We did this for a couple of reasons. A, the jump puzzles are going to be where you die the most. You're definitely gonna to wanna to have a ton of hunters in order to kind of alleviate that pressure. Then in addition to that, you're definitely gonna want the ad clearing for the arc striders and then the celestial nighthawks that give you the extra damage that you might need on Riven. Warlocks are terrible jumpers, only have one of them. You only need one of their buffs anyways. And then two titans just to round out the ad clearing a little bit. Now we just passed Kali. Kali is pretty simple, so I'm not going to throw in that bit of commentary in there, just because, like I said, it's really simple. If you can do the Cali encounter uh, without dying, you know, you're, you're on a pretty good track. If you can't do the Cali encounter without trying, I probably would not attempt the Petra's run. That is the easiest part of this entire thing, so if you're having trouble getting past that, you might need to reevaluate your team or do the raid a couple more times or just learn the encounters. My only tip for that is make sure everyone has a static door and that door never changes. For instance, I am always door number two. So regardless of which side she's on, regardless of our team composition, excuse me, I always get door number two. Hi, Lefts, Mom. Scarrow says hi, Mom. Scarrow says hi. You have my thanks, Guardian. But my sister remains... He's like, who's Scarrow? I'm like, he's this YouTuber. Wait, what do you mean, who's Scarrow? Do you know who I am? I'm Scarrow fucking nine, okay? <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'll go. And, and wow, before people in chat, this, cat, this kid, this kid's the most arrogant it. ass hat I've ever seen. Welcome to me. This guy just has a, like a real big trucker hat with a, a butt on it. Okay, sorry, it's an ass hat. <laughs> Hell yeah, Bertha. For the two cups on the side. Okay. Except the cup has bendy straws in this, in the cups. Now this is going to be the first tricky part of the raid here, the jump puzzle. Uh, some people like to take that ascendant portal down there like you just saw Ratul do. I would absolutely not recommend that. You see me kind of struggling with a couple of these jumps. That's just because when you're nervous, you're definitely more prone to dying. So just take it slow, be careful. One thing I would recommend, you see me jump here over and go to the left. That is definitely easier for some of the classes like hunters that don't have the most horizontal jumps in the game. That helps a ton. I always do this. Oh. I always go from the right side. Just for... Or the left side? No, turtles! The right if you're looking at it! The left if you're proceeding from it. Yeah. Left if you're doing it the correct way, but right if you're doing it the scare away. Hell yeah, Bertha. Anyways... I think it's confirmed. Scare just proved he's directionally challenged. Wow. Make fan of a man's mm, more, shortcomings. It's more eh? challenge than that. <laughs> <laughs> Turtles, I told your mom I'm sorry. It's never happened to me before, okay? <laughs> God. 
what was supposed to be four oh. hours ended up being like 30 seconds. <laughs> no, what was supposed not to even. be... What, what was supposed to be 30 seconds ended up being 12 seconds. It's supposed to be five <laughs> seconds. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we all ready? What the heck was that? Are you trying to be a Wookiee? That's not allowed. Good. No, that's not what my Wookiee sounds like. But now we're going to go on to Shuro Chi. Once again, our team composition stays exactly the same. I would recommend Sentinel Titans running the Doom Faints for the two Titans. Then for Hunters, Arc Striders with Raid and Flux. And for the Warlock, you're definitely going to want your Dawnblade Rift. Then you're going to want Ikelos, Shotguns, and Sleeper Simulants. And the rest of the encounter is just going to be doing it normally. The only things I would recommend have the same three people on crystals for every single phase. Try to pick a crystal phase. So for instance, I try to take one that is the northmost if when you're looking at the door that's east so that's a little bit confusing but when you're looking at the door like i am right now pretty much all the crystals that are super to the left that's the one i'm always going to be getting for the most part we rotate a little bit but that's just because we're really comfortable with our team and then for the picture plates i would say that you know each player has one that they always get so for instance once again i always get the second blanked out square that's just the way it goes that's the way we keep it simple so i have four players with static squares and that's going to be that. But I'm going to let this encounter play out. And then I will come back for the jump puzzle between this and Morgath. I like how my tether disappears. Frames. I like frames. No, 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 that was what? a fucking okay, we'll the the world. Again. Well, the fucking knight spawned left instead of right, and it, it, it goofed freaking my super, or I goofed my super in it. Oh, jeez. Yikes, boys. Always expect the unexpected. Haha. Uh -huh. We got a jankies in chat. Uh -huh. Three, two, one. Controller vibrations are gone. I don't know how to play the game without them. <laughs> I like how the, the freaking scuff was like, do you want to remove rumble packs to improve your accuracy? Like, bitch, I can't hit anything without rumble. <laughs> yeah, I know. It, it feels like your controller is dead. I don't know I how people do that. I, I, I can't play with vibration. Turtle's mom only yeah, plays with I vibration. Play with <laughs> I, oh, I, knew that was, I forgot it was only matter of batteries. Wow, look at that, I still have my super. Crazy! Uh, I don't take anything personal. Sometimes. Okay, take it personally, then. Sometimes. I don't take anything personally. <laughs> Sometimes. Okay. Alright, let's do it. I take mail personally. Why did that plate almost kill me? I, I gotta plug in my truck. Boy. Me and AFK boy right now. Wait, we need you to stand on the plates. Rip. Okay. Yeah, I know. I'm coming. Okay, I'm coming. Oh my. Okay, I'm coming. Oh, I just got booped into the wall. Okay, I'm coming. <laughs> okay. Uh, Three, okay. Three, two, two, one, go. <clears throat> okay. Clear ads. Kill, kill the shield guy. Three, two, two one, go. That's... Okay, three, uh, okay. two, one, go. Okay, we're good. I have super. <clears throat> oh, are you sure? Because I got mine. Go uh, yeah, use, use yours. This part's always so it. laggy, like I just see people like everywhere. Right, and just jumping, literally teleporting up to the platforms. Sentinel is like the best PvE super, I swear to god. For ad clear? Probably. For ads, yeah. One grenade can clear a crowd. 
Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Yeah, especially bottom tree, because if you get four kills with your nade, you get your nade back. She's done. Yeah, popping super. Easy. Getting the ogre. Well done, guys! Good play, scale. Nice, I got a chest Please, piece. I'm really good at nice. <laughs> That's my freaking favorite, dude. That's <laughs> so good. Hello, goodbye. You're dead. Oh boy, oh I'm boys, get the, get the Rivy boy, get the Rivy boy. What are we doing? Get the Nighty boys. Nighty boys are people. <laughs> my Nighty boy is not your prom dress, okay? <laughs> Three, push off. two, one. Do we have a super? Uh, no, I do not. I, I just use mine. Okay, it's alright. Just, just, oh, that works. Okay, <gasps> get two Three. plates. Three, two, one, go. There it is. Um, okay. Okay, clear your hands. Okay, three, two, one, get on. Shield guy. Uh, one, two, heads. Okay. Alrighty. Three, two, one, get on. Okay, I, I got two. super. Okay. That's laggy as hell. Oh, oh, no, no. Somebody, uh, bo bo. no, 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 no. Okay. Oh, take that, Ribby boy. Ah. Hell yeah, Ribby boy. Yeah. Rebel scum. You violated my mother. Okay. Rebel Three, scum. Two. One. Nice. Sriracha's song. <laughs> I keep thinking I'll probably you're an enemy right? out of the corner of my eyes here. Sorry. Huh. Okay, I have I clear token. right in front of us. I'll clear right. The token knight. Big play, Scarab. Alright, we good? Here we Three, go. Two, one, up on. Goodbye. Talk about how the now, once you beat Shirochi, this is where kind of the most difficult part of the raid is. I know that sounds really silly, but this jump puzzle that you're about to do between Shirochi and Morgath, this is by far where most people die. And that's just because it's very tricky and it's very unfortunate for classes like Titan. They don't get a lot of verticality in their jumps and the last jump is especially tricky. Now, one thing I would like to say going up this tree, be careful we have had someone die, not in this raid, but in like a regular raid, just falling down. If you land on the stairs, it counts as multiple surfaces. You can take enough damage to die. So just be really careful, go up one at a time. 
Now, another note I would like to make is that there's a secret chest in this area. Do not go for it, okay? You're not doing Petra's run to get loot. That is not the point of this raid. Don't do this on a character that you need loot on just because you need the loot. And especially do not go for those freaking chests because that will screw up your team. You are going to die going for it and it's just dumb. So don't do it. So right here, we're jumping off the cliff. We're about to go into this jump puzzle. Now, I, there's not really a lot I can tell you. Just follow the path I do. Do not go across these platforms more than one at a time. We've had so many people die. As you guys can see up in the right corner, it says failed attempts eight. It's like six of those attempts were at this freaking jump puzzle. So many people died. You're just going to want to take your time. Do not rush it. Just, you know, you, there's all the time in the world that, you know, taking an extra five or 10 minutes here is nothing compared to having to redo the first two encounters of the raid and get here. That will cost you a half an hour to an hour. This will cost you, you know, five or 10 minutes and it's very, very worth it. And then in addition, you know, if you're failing encounters constantly and especially jump puzzles, you know, it's really going to kill your morale and you're not going to do quite as well. I'm gonna bring my dog downstairs. Be right back. There is no end to the taken. You have stolen from them more than they could ever take from you. You are destined to fight forever. Now, when you get to Morgath, there's going to be a couple of different tips I can give you. First off, have two people on each side that I refer to as grabbers. They're essentially the people that are going to be getting the strengths and then one floater on both sides. So on the left side, Turtles is the floater. On the right side, I am. And essentially, you just hang out, you kill ads, and then whenever the strengths pop up, someone gets trapped. So if they spawn on the left, the floater on the left will get it. The floater on the right will get it if they spawn on the right. If they both spawn on one side, that person on that side, of course, has to get it and then just come over to wherever people are trapped. So it's pretty simple. Now, the only other rule I would say is make sure you do have four ad clears, two on each side. This just makes ads really easy. So whenever the Eye of Riven spawns after you kill all of the ogres, or whenever that Vandal spawns or whoever get on your side, immediately pop on your Arc Striders or your Sentinels or whatever you're using and clear out all those ads. You could do it with guns, but A, it'll take longer, and B, it is of course riskier than doing it with a super. With something like Arc Strider, it takes two ground slams and then you just automatically are fine. You have cleared everything on that side. You don't have to worry about anything else and then you can just worry about grabbing the strengths or cleansing someone or you know just focusing a little bit more on the raid so as you see here i pop my super i clear everything we go on and everything is normal now we are doing the shotgun strat on morgeth now a lot of people think that's riskier because it is riskier if you cannot do enough damage in you know the quick amount of time he will spawn a ton of axions and they will kill you immediately so you definitely need to make sure that warlock rift is ready to go you need to make sure all six of you are running eichelos shotguns you punch him you kill him almost immediately very very important and then make sure one of the hammer titans actually gets a melting point off as well it is imperative pretty much from this point on to always have a melting point going in the raid so that is very important so that's pretty much this encounter watch how we do it this one is probably the easiest like encounter in the raid cali's pretty easy this one just doesn't take any time at all. So you need to make sure you're able to do this on the normal raid. You need to make sure you can do the Iclos shotgun. The reason that we don't do the regular strat where you shoot him with the Whisper of the Worm, it's just more dangerous. You know, one phasing something, it's a little bit more risky in the long run, but the more time that you're in an encounter, i.e., you know, having two phases, the more chances your team has to make a mistake. So I would rather put one person kind of in the arena of being able to make a mistake, you know, getting a shoulder charge off or something like that, versus six people having chances to make mistakes. It just minimizes it overall. So that is very, very important. This worked for us twice. It's just super important that you do it like this. I, in my opinion, you know, you might be able to do it differently, but as you can see, this works for us. So I'm going to let you watch the rest of this damage phase. Uh, Lap, get the last one as well. Don't go over there yet, Psycho. Okay. Lap, get it. Lap, get it. Okay. Let's... Got it. Okay, let's do it. 
stream is corn, baby. Multi point. In the powering punch. Oh shoot. Ooh, those Ooh. came out early. Oh, get behind Ritual. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. You can shoot him, like shoot him as well, shoot him. Good, good shit, Ritual. Wow, that oh came out. Oh my god. That came out way early. It's, it's almost like that's a mm. metaphor for turtle sex life or something. Oh. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> With the jokes, he's got the jokes. What are you talking about? Turtles is a frisky man. He likes to do the deed and get it done. I got stuff to do. Shit to do like other people's mothers. Yeah, like walking his dog. <laughs> Plowing his spending... field, collecting his harvest. Sowing my oats. Brother, I require your oats. Crying cat meme face. Alright, everyone put on your Acrius. <sighs> it's such a cheese to have That's this have fair. us run through this room because the next time we see this room, like it's like when the triumph is done and like when you beat the raid and that shit, it's just like what a what a what a tease, Bungo. Okay, boys, easy. Let's put on. Kill me, my Everybody ready? Everyone, make sure How everything's close ready. On this Acrius catalyst. 97%. Okay. <laughs> okay. Nice. Like two more runs and I'll get my catalyst, boys. <laughs> Alright, everyone. Everyone to their plates. Alrighty. Let's do it. Now, when you get to vaults, this is pretty much the same as the other encounters. I don't really have a ton of tips. Just be safe. Make sure you're clearing ads. Have the people that are running to go get the Penumbra and Antumbra be the uh, ad clearers so they're able to take out those captains with their supers without dying. Always have three designated callers who stand on their respective plates. And then most importantly, the three ad clear people, assign them to plates as well. And those are the plates they will always go to to kill knights. So for instance, God337 is on forest with me. He is going to always go go back to that point to kill the knight and then when I'm available I will also always go back to force to kill the knight before helping anyone else that is super important just to reduce the error of people randomly running around trying to find knights so that's super important and then also only have one person calling outdoors remember whichever direction you go in so like if I grab the relic and turtles tells me to go left every other person that round will also go left until you get on points and call them out again so keep that in mind it is a full circle but other than that there's not a ton of tips for this one so just watch the video see what we do and uh, uh you know kind of apply that to your team's gameplay am i going uh left, left. going left right yeah and tumbra uh do we have a knight on rocks and we sphere. have a knight on sphere let's get him a tool I swear to god if you physics me you stupid phalanx oh yeah said it's sphere right on. yeah Psycho, you're going to the left, and you were cleansing rock. Back to your OG plates. Okay, night coming up from rock. Oh my god. What is killing me? I got ritual. Hell yeah! Okay, back on original plates. Okay, my symbol is dragon breathing fire to the left. That is on my left. I have fish swimming left through kelp. That's to my right. I have bird breathing or burned down. Okay. Not bird down. Bird, bird breathing. All right. Very good. Bird falling, yeah. Down. Bird. I was <laughs> like, like, what? Birds don't breathe? What? <laughs> okay. Okay, we're doing rocks. Contrary to popular belief, yes. everyone, birds don't breathe. <laughs> Quoted at Scarrow 9. Hell yeah, brother. Put that on a t-shirt and give me 10% of your profits. Um, 1%. 
Five. Okay, which way am I going? You're going uh, okay. left. Okay, knight's here again. Okay. Let's get him, <laughs> Ratul. Let's get him. I got you with them heels, boys. I always forget that the okay. scion spawn. I'm going left, all right? Yep. Left. Going left with Antumbra. Uh, rock. Where's the second knight, guys? Uh, one was on trees, it's dead. dead. Okay. Just checking. When you said that, I just looked around, expecting there to be Knight just kneeling on a plate. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. Well, I didn't hear somebody kill Le us. So uh, left, right. Psycho. Left. Okay. Left, and you were cleansing trees. Lovely. Probably use a hand with my dude here, please. Come on, he's dead. No, I got him. Okay, let's clear out. Round three. Okay, back on originals. Okay, uh, Infinity Snake. That is on my left. I have Dragon Holding Spear to the left. That's to my right. I have W Snake. Okay, we're gonna be on. Where are we starting? Like rocks again. Oh, wow. <clears throat> hey, ads behind us, guys. Okay, which way? Going, Going left. left. Hey, night spawning nice. from trees. Trees. Lovely. Hey, adds behind us. Additional guys. enemies. Turtles left. With Antumbra. Okay. Antumbra, rock. Okay. Hey, night on forest and night on uh, rock. Okay, we're both dead. Psycho's turn. Okay, Psycho left. Left cleansing spear. <clears throat> We're done. Whew. Okay, okay. very dawn. Uh, guys, guys, there's an exotic. It's just gonna be a jade rabbit. Don't freak out. Just a jade rabbit. It's like a yeah, it'll Thank just you, be. Thank you, Rachel, for killing the knight. Well, okay. See what it is. Jade rabbit calling it right now. Fighting <laughs> lion. <laughs> even worse. Fighting lion. <laughs> it's even worse. Oh. Wow. Okay. All right. All dollar, right. Boys. All right, hunters. Celestial. Now for Riven. This is super important. All of the Titans need to be Melting Point. The Warlock, of course, needs to be Well of Radiance. The Hunters all need to be Celestial Nighthawk Bottom Tree, so you can do that Precision Damage. And I choose to do the Cluster Bomb Strategy. Once again, it's reducing amount of error that you have a chance to do. It might be a little bit more risky. You have to be able to be on a team where you can consistently kill Riven like this, so you get it first shot. And of course, you know, you always go to Crystal Room first, so you can transmat over to the uh, tree side if he doesn't come to your side. 
but it is super important in my opinion that you do this strategy on him because if you just do the normal way where you have to cleanse the symbols and kill and bait all of his attacks and stuff like that it is much riskier because you put yourself in more positions to make mistakes and that is never something you want so go down to riven make sure you have your cluster bomb rockets make sure you're rocking as many rivens bane or transcendent mods as possible make sure you have the team composition that we do and then uh, you can pretty much melt them instantly it's honestly not that bad the most important thing is that no one kills themselves with rockets make sure take the extra second and a half to make sure you're not going to blow yourself up maybe even assign each person a place in the rift for instance the front right is always where tools because he is the person getting the shoulder charge off to melting point riven himself so whenever riven comes in he will kick him in the face he will apply melting point and then that part of the rift will always be open for him so that's super important uh you can tell if riven's coming by seeing the shadow here that we see we can just see a tiny glimpse of it there so we know we can stay in crystal if that doesn't happen of course you have to go over to the tree side you can look up guides on that but pretty much watch the rest around see how we do it it's very important Crystal. Kill. That'd be hilarious if one of us got smacked by Riven and died here. No, I wouldn't. Almost Why we're told. as Why? funny as... <coughs> okay, remember, don't go off the ledge, but take care of the snipers across the way. I just sit in the room here in the event that I need to switch. That was a shit grenade. We're good, we're good. Okay. Yeah, Ravy Boy's here. All right, clear everything. Yeah. Remember, all the Scions in the center, once we start waiting, I have those. Everyone focus down the Rivy, the Eye of Riven. Got the snipers. Focus down Eye of Riven, Riven's down, okay. Okay, I have Scions. Get ready in the center. Remember, we, okay. we're leaving I'm one from Psycho to Punch. Plant. Do you want me to put the, do you want to put it like right here in the center? Or do you want to move it back a little bit? I. Uh, right. Uh, matter, how honestly. close do you want it to? How close to the center do you want me to? Put like, it? like right there, like right where you are. This, this spot where Scare is right now is reserved for Ritual, so do not stand here. I'm gonna stand right here where our left is. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Okay, we can kill all of these. Oops. Okay. Oh, done. No. I have Riven's gonna. I think I killed. Okay, we should... oh, yeah. Never mind. No. Okay, leave this for Psycho. Psycho, get ready. No one strafe. Melting point. When you're done, go eye close. Don't hit her eyes. Okay, okay, just stay alive. Just stay alive. Kill all the ads. Kill all the ads. Everybody stand still. Careful, left. No rockets. No more rockets. Now, when you get to the Ascendant Realm, everyone just needs to take their time. If you have any bad jumpers, just make sure they stand still at the beginning and make the other people go forward. And no one should move up to a platform until the phalanxes that can see that platform are dead. So for instance, we're moving up here, we can see the phalanxes. We're not jumping to that closest platform until they're dead. That is super important. If you need a Warlock to give you guys healing grenades, you can. We don't need it. It's not really necessary. It's a pretty short strategy if you take the route we do. It doesn't take long at all, like 20 20 seconds so just make sure you're doing this and taking your time and being super careful okay okay everybody take your time turtles so there's the healing rift up here yep. actually just just stay there yeah i'm, I'm still waiting thanks guys <clears throat> I got it. I'm going in. Okay. Okay. I have Celestial. Okay, if we can just well. Celestial do it, don't blow yourself up. Nobody do not move. blow yourself up. Find your spot, nobody okay. move. Can you Celestial. Okay. There. Okay, don't go up, don't go up. Switching supers, switching supers. <clears throat> we need to start the encounter pretty quick. Yep. Just everyone switch to your accuracies and then let's do it. Alright, let's go.
Psycho, let's get a rift so we can survive. Okay, we're good. Okay, everyone switch to your accuracies. Let's get a rally banner. Come on, come on. Okay. Okay, I'm good to go. Okay, who's first? I'm good to go. Alright, I'm good. Um, I'm not. Now we have gotten to the final part, which is going to be the Queen's Walk portion of the raid where you have to deliver Riven's Heart all the way to the end. This is the hardest part, in my opinion. Everyone's going to be super psyched that you made it this far. Everyone's going to be super worried about screwing up and just mentally, and then all the pieces having to go together of everyone being transported and stuff like that. It just comes together and it just makes it absolutely just insane in terms of tension. And everyone's going to be just subconsciously wanting to make mistakes here. So you got to... Just be careful. Make sure you're cleansing very often, keeping your eye on that creeping darkness. As you can see here, I almost died. I'm at like eight. We were very, very close to losing there, but luckily someone picked it up right away. Um, I also didn't switch my supers. I would recommend running the Legend of Acrius and then as well as any ad clear super you can for Hunter. You know, you want Arc Strider, stuff of that nature. Now, if someone accidentally gets teleported in, as someone will later in this run, just keep going. You can lose one person and it not be over. That's perfectly fine. And then Always, as always, the person who gets teleported in first is the person who picks up that last taken strike. So just make sure you're coordinating everything together. Now, the only other thing I would say is there has been some glitches where people are just running around that heart realm at the very end. When they get transported in, sometimes the momentum carries over and it's way faster and they run into a wall and die. That would be heartbreaking. So when the person's about to slam the heart for the final time, everyone stands still. But other than that, if you make it to this point, you've pretty much done it. Just keep your composure, keep running, make sure to remember all of the kind of, you know, the simple things, you know, calling out where the taken strengths are, counting down, taking out the phalanxes, things like that. When you get to this point, you've all but done it and it would suck to lose to one of the easiest, simple in terms of like mechanic based encounters in the game, just because you're nervous. So just make sure you're taking your time and doing it well, but enjoy the rest of the gameplay. I hope you guys did enjoy this guide. If you did, make sure to leave a like rating and to share it with your friends. Um, maybe subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the guide. But other than that, enjoy the rest of the video. Good luck on getting your Petra's run done, guys. And uh, yeah. Nine. Do not, Eight, do not jump down with seven, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, yeah, I got this one right 16, here. I'm standing on 15, it. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. Get the strings. 10, 9, 8, 7, get 6, this one. 5, 4, 3, get it, get it. Got it, got it, got it. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. Stop eight, moving. Okay, everyone just jump up. Don't don't be moving fast. Don't be moving fast. I have not done it. Guys, I've not done it. You fucking liar. Okay, okay, no one do anything. No one do anything. Do not fucking move. I'm stuck. Do not Fine, fucking man. move. You guys have no idea how close I was to dying in that ascendant place as one shot. <clears throat> yeah! Oh, yeah. Woo! Woo! Oh, that was, that was, my heart was going, I was all getting up to the altar. How much time did you have there, God? Like two seconds left.